Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Marissa Monroy. There is promising news on the fight against COVID. For the first time since the start of the pandemic, we have moved to stage two of the Austin Public Health COVID-19 risk-based guidelines. What does that mean for you? Stage two guidelines state that fully vaccinated people can participate in indoor or outdoor private gatherings and dine or shop without wearing a mask if allowed by the business. Travel is also okay, though masks are still recommended and even required in airports or on mass transit. Recommendations for partially or unvaccinated individuals have not changed. This group should take precautions for all activities, including indoor and outdoor private gatherings, dining, shopping, and travel. Wearing a mask, even when fully vaccinated, is an effective tool to reduce the spread of many respiratory illnesses. For more information on risk-based guidelines, go to austintexas.gov slash COVID-19. Many in our community have taken the necessary measures to reduce the spread and get vaccinated. In fact, Austin just surpassed 400,000 vaccinations. In Travis County, 60% of individuals 12 years and older have received at least one vaccine dose. The Pfizer vaccine is now authorized for children as young as 12 years of age. Our community will reach herd immunity goals when 70 to 90% of the population is fully vaccinated. If you or someone you know still needs to get vaccinated, check out vaccines.gov for providers near you. In our latest council corner, Austin City Council voted to reallocate $8.1 million of police budget funding to support the city's first family violence shelter in more than a decade. The local nonprofit group Safe Alliance will manage the city-owned shelter and services. City Council has not chosen a location, but it will likely be in a city-owned renovated hotel building. At Austin Municipal Court, among the places returning to pre-COVID-19 operation levels, but this time they're in a new location. You can now find them at Bergstrom Tech Center off of Burleson Road. The court reopening means all court case obligations, including payment plans, deferrals, and community service deadlines are now due. Court officials encourage everyone with an open case to contact them to explore options for resolving their case. Those options may include payment plans, community service, and waivers for individuals who qualify. Visit austintexas.gov court or call 512-974-4800 for more information. That's it for this week's City View. Thank you for watching Austin. Be sure to catch up on all of the latest information on atxn.tv, our social media channels, and of course on our dedicated webpage, austintexas.gov slash COVID-19. Stay well, Austin.